talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations today. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work that you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to and or listening to, just show us that person. We pray against any and all distractions away from us right now so we can focus on you. We pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, our leaders, our loved ones, us, and the world. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, everyone listening, um, this world, and our leaders. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, everyone listening today, our leaders and the world. We pray for the safety of our cities and all the people in them right now. Lord, we ask that you show mercy on us and heal our land. And we come to you in repentance right now, Lord, asking you to forgive us of each and every sin that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves whether it be in word, thought, and or action, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We ask, Lord, if there's anyone listening today that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior, and today they want to do so. We pray John 3, 16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with us today, you can know that you're gonna to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life. And that was Jesus being born, died, buried and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world. We just pray that everyone accepts this free gift before it's too late so that no one goes to hell and everyone goes to heaven. And we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. It's a God divine appointment that you're here. And God wants to grow you in his relationship with you. And by getting into his word every day, that's the Bible. And it stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So you can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set you free. And by getting into prayer each and every day, that's just talking to the Lord. Like I'm talking to you right now, um, listening to his voice and obeying what he tells you to. So grow with him on um, your daily walk with him. As you draw closer to him, he will draw closer to you. And Lord, show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them to help those around them that are in need. In this, um, this dying and lost world, we need believers to stand strong. Lord, I'm calling all the people on this channel to stand strong right now. Stand up for truth and righteousness, even if you're the only one. But know that God's behind you and he will never leave nor forsake you especially when you walk in uprighteousness. He will send his angels to safeguard and protect you against the darts of the enemy that will come to pass. And you will be victorious in every area of your life if you surrender everything over to him. 
In Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. All right. Let's get a, go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. So if you do have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and we'll get started. Thank you. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord, and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. The Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thy hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers, Thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law. And if thou turn into the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, for this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it off far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, and that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other gods, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. And that's the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today. Um, just want to encourage and uplift you all today to just not look at your circumstances, but look how God can use your circumstances to grow you into the person he wants you to become. With every circumstance that comes to us, it's not in easy times that we learn and grow. It's in those hard times that we cling to the Lord and we ask him to help us. That when we don't have the answers, he does. But we learn from each and every situation and circumstance how to be more like him in the ways that we act and approach each situation. We go to him for guidance and wisdom that only he can give us. Because when you stand for the Lord, you will be attacked. The enemy will use your family and friends against you to try to take you down. But 
we can be victorious with the Lord's help. Okay, and until next time, bye!